Venkatesh Kodur was one of the scientists that confirmed the Twin Towers collapsed on 9-11 mainly because of fire and the structural failure it caused. You have only so much time before the collapse happens. By prolonging this collapse by minutes, it will have significant implications. In the case of 9-11, he says every minute those towers stayed up could have meant more saved lives. We designed for wind, we designed for earthquake, we designed for snow, we designed for a blast, but for fire, we call it fire protection. That's the biggest disappointment. We should not be protecting against fire. We should be designing for fire. And that's what Codeware and his team does here. They create construction materials with fire protection built in, then do everything they can to destroy those materials. They pull them, crush them, bake and burn them. Conventional concrete inside they will be exposed to. Okay. 2200 degree Fahrenheit. All to understand how fire and heat can change the properties of structures. So when the temperature goes to certain level, let's say 200 degree centigrade, 400 degree centigrade, we are going to pull it and see what is the strength left. Because with temperature, as I mentioned, the strength degrades as a function of temperature. Here's one example, water. Water makes up part of concrete, and sometimes that water vaporizes in intense heat, tries to escape, and explodes the concrete in a process called fire spalling. Enough miniature explosions and the concrete's load-bearing properties can give out. Kodor says by twisting in the ends of the steel reinforcements inside concrete columns and beams, you can counteract the pressure of that water vapor trying to get out. So just by bending these little things in there, that, that gives these concrete support structures another hour to survive in a high temperature fire. Definitely, especially with newer concrete, this works wonders. You could also add these metal fibers, which will add enough strength to mitigate spalling, or mix in these hair-like plastic fibers, which melt at a lower temperature, giving the water vapor an easy path to escape without causing those mini explosions. While some of his findings have already been integrated into some building codes and standards, Kodor hopes to make more of an impact on the construction industry so future fires will have less of an impact on us. For Discovery News, I'm James Williams.